Alright, we're going to the cemetery? Why? Because that's where the quest is! Ugh. Somehow, I don't believe you that it's going to be a quest, and it's going to be another companion <laughs> based no. on us. No. <laughs> Although, I did hear that there was a version of Aurelius Phoenix out there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, there's some giant hollow tapes. To any brave travelers... If you are reading this and you are considering passing through this door, I hope you are brave and strong enough to back up that bravery. There are places beyond here that will test your ability to accept things you previously thought unreal. There are dangers, and yet, if you look around enough, there are a few friendly faces as well. The man who made this world, the Dreamweaver, needs to be stopped. In order to access where he is hiding, you need to find the four keys held by the guardians of each hostile dream world. You will find them ahead. Alongside this note is a rough guide based on what I saw. It's up to you now, provided you decide to move ahead. Good luck. You'll need it. Let's, Let's enter the dream world so we can escape this dream world in which we are dreaming. Whoa! Giant Mantis! Giant Mantis! Giant Mantis! Wait, hang on. Maybe it's not hostile. Doesn't look like it's hostile. Hello? No, it's a friend. <laughs> He's a wanderer like yourself, Traveler. You know, fun fact about praying mantises, they might not actually bite the heads off of their mates. Might not, depending on what mood they're in. Yeah, scientists are kind of wondering if maybe the only reason they bite the head off their mates is because they're being watched and it stresses them out. Can you imagine that? If the more people watch the porn, the more likely the female actress was to just bite the male's <laughs> head off. And well, I'm not talking about the head where his brain is. I'm talking about the head where his other brain is. Well, considering how interconnected our world is, I imagine, yeah, there'd be a lot of dickless people walking around then. Or at least dickless porn stars. So this is the dream world. Can't say I've ever met a place quite like this. Yeah, big old crystals. We have to find four keys, and they are scattered in random dreams. Blue cola? 17 rads if you drink it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mike, you can have this blue cola. No, that's Zach. Mike, you can have this blue cola. You're talking to the wrong Mike. No, Mike. Which? <laughs> Just gonna get the other Mike. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm done with this. Well, let's check out the Dream of Pestilence first. Everybody ready? Of course. Who isn't? Welcome to the Dream of Pestilence. Why am I hearing toilets flush? Are you feeling well? The immense regret, seeing and allowing this world to form into reality, it is an illness that will never go away. The putrid waters of this cave are seeping into my mind, making me ill. How could I ever hope to seal this place away? It's the wrong instance of seal. That's like the orp orp seal, not... Well, no. Oh, wait, no, it is. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Cut that out, Mike. Nope, that's leaving that one in. No, cut it out. I'm stupid. The doors form and refuse to be tampered with. Something is happening that I can't even hope to explain, let alone understand. Well, I hope you're ready. Ah! Ah! Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more of them. I don't know what that was from, but yes. Jim Willikers, Batman, that surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> this might be confusing for people who are watching this video not knowing which version of you is speaking. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> that was other Mike. <laughs> uh, Zack is teleporting. Oh my god, I want to worship this Zack instead. He can walk on water. Well, in water, which is not as impressive. If Jesus had been like, low, I can walk in water, everyone would be like, and? <laughs> Hold on, I think one of these corpses had the key on him. The plague bearer! Uh, the key of pestilence. That's one down and three to go. Was there more stuff back here that I missed? Probably. Oh, look, there's a shack. Oh, we haven't been there yet. You think the man just owns that shack? He you might not like us messing with his shack. Do you think he's outraged by the property taxes? He probably is. Hello, wanderer. Heed my advice. Is that you? Do not proceed. That's you. <laughs> yes, this mod didn't have any voice acting, so uh, I added some for our special recording session. Lovely! <laughs> Tell me, William, why shouldn't I proceed? I say this because these worlds are unnatural and highly dangerous. Usually my warning and the strange appearance of this place is enough to scare people off. But you seem different. Perhaps you can handle what these worlds have in store. But don't blame me if you wind up injured, or dead, or injured and dead. What are you doing in this place? What am I doing here? What is anybody doing here? Okay. Some have the ability to see the door, and others don't. 
The ones who can are the ones wandering around in this place. Plain and simple. It has some kind of allure to those who see it. That makes it dangerous. Your voice acting's actually really good in this, and it kind of pisses me off that you're doing <laughs> such a good job. Why, thank you. <laughs> Tell me, William, where in the hell did this place come from? Don't no, say it like William. Tell me, William, where in the hell did this place come from? <laughs> The crazed locals up ahead have told me that this place has been created by a man that they call the Dream Weaver. Clearly, whoever this is must have suffered greatly. The worlds he's created, they've got a certain malevolence to them. So, Traveler, I would recommend taking great caution in whatever it is you decide to do beyond the doors that lie ahead. Okay. Well, Caution is Zack's middle name. Not this Zack, the other Zack. This Zack is a wild cannon. You got any supplies? Yes, Traveler, I have a few things. They aren't free, however. <laughs> and I guess you could get a couple more shotgun rounds. Oh, boy. Thanks. <laughs> I'll be going. Be careful. You never know what awaits. Thank you for the words of warning. Uh, do you got a key in here that I'm supposed to... I bet it's this. It was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Don't think that's a key, but it's a good book. Mitchell, as per your request, I have entered the door and studied its contents. I cannot figure out a way to relay this to you without sounding insane. But beyond the door is a land of dreams that have manifested into physical worlds. Some areas of this land seem peaceful, while others have been noticeably hostile. I am only one man, so I can only travel so far into this place. Though, what I have seen is enough to make me think that something needs to be done. The door that leads here seems to be indestructible, so that isn't a solution. At the very least, someone needs to be here to warn people away. I am slowly becoming afraid that this might become my responsibility. Let's discuss possibilities soon! And then he stayed here forever. And we stole his beer and cola. I'll have the cola, you have the beer. What about Zack? What does Zack get? Zack gets nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! <laughs> You know, you were making arguments about Aladdin being better than the Lion King. Are we bringing this up again? I am willing to concede that Aladdin is better than the Lion King if you agree with me that Aladdin 2 Return of Jafar is better than Aladdin 3 The King of Thebes. Yeah, I think I'd probably agree with that. What do you love about Aladdin 2? I like that Iago gets a song. <laughs> I like that he gets a duet as well. <laughs> A lot of people remember the songs from the first Aladdin movie, but we also can't forget the ones from the second one. I'm looking out for me! <laughs> forget about that guy! Forget about the way you fell into his eye! Forget oh. about his touch! You oh know, it God. doesn't really matter very much! Love really is obnoxious! <laughs> and so is that voice. <laughs> Truth is one you can't ever wake from. All the people I knew before that fateful day, they continue to haunt me. Now that decayed flames have become reality. The worst part is that I can't even remember what they used to look like. And now I've isolated myself from the Mojave. Nobody would ever believe what has happened to me anyway. Zombies! I don't care about your sexual orientation. Just shut up and die quietly. <laughs> yes. This oh. is my boomstick! Oh, they're just lost. They're not hostile. They just wanted directions. Man, if we killed everybody who asked us for directions, we'd be arrested. Excuse me, sir, do you know how to look at the blue line? I've lost, ah, oh, now. L train's that way. <laughs> After I kill it. <laughs> Four frag grenades, of which you took one. I'll leave, I'll leave 100 <laughs> NCR dollars. Gotta take, leave a tip. <laughs> take a penny, leave a penny. Here's another 100 NCR dollars. <laughs> Nobody spends NCR money! Oh, he's a sorrow. Is this a sorrow for Metal Gear Solid 3? Can you imagine, Zach, if somebody made a mod where you had to go through all of the people you've killed? Oh, good lord. We'd be here all month. Key of loss. Missed. It's a pistol. Oh, is it a good pistol, though? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, this might be interesting. It's a gun that shoots blue stuff! Hi there. I'm tired. Just leave me alone. Shirley Ending. Jackson, The Haunting of Hill House. How do you feel about the fact we just took your book? I'm tired. Just leave me alone. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you're so tired... Oh, who said I had a dumb face? Was it you? Die! <laughs> Birds! Want to waste your ammo shooting at them? 
No. Cockroach! Everything around here is friendly except for the bipeds. Another shack. Also a radio tower. I like radio towers. Normally they're peaceful, but this one's jettisoning electricity around. Yeah, I don't really like ones that are sparking ominously. Might kill the birds that are flying around. Welcome, welcome! No need to be shy, you're safe here. What is it like here? It's really quite nice, really. Yes, nowhere in the world quite resembles this place. It's really something else. <laughs> We've even found some delicious, wonderful red fruit. <laughs> Dawn says I shouldn't be eating this stuff. But really, how can such a good tasting fruit be bad for you? <laughs> it can't. <laughs> what do you know of the Dreamweaver? Ah, he's a swell guy, that's what I know. I mean, who else could dream up such a world? Mm -hmm. If you really want to know, I can tell you that uh, he lives in a big place in the Dark Lands. <laughs> I wouldn't go there, though. It's uh, a bit dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your time here, friend. <laughs> book, book. The mayor of Casterbridge. I've never read that one, have you? No. Well, another visitor. What's on your mind? I'm kind of disturbed <laughs> at how well the audio for that part turned out. <laughs> Are you two living here? Well, yeah. We actually kind of like this place. Something wrong with that? Though, admittedly, we do keep our distance from the more hazardous areas. So what's with the weirdo? That weirdo has a name you know. Leland. His name is Leland. And he showed up a little while after I settled in here. To be honest, despite him being eccentric, I like having him around. That's weird. I don't like the sound of that. This place is peaceful and all, but awfully lonely. <laughs> if it's that kind of lonely, I'm out. <laughs> what do you know of the Dreamweaver? I don't know much. He's a ghoul, that much I've heard. He's been alive a long time. Before the war, I believe. With regards to how the world came to be, and what role he played, honestly, I haven't the damnedest clue. Hmm. Time for me to go! Be careful now. This place is a blessing and a curse. Ah, I knew you were going to say that. Wow, that voice is so erogenous, I think I creamed my pants. God damn it. <laughs> You always criticize me for killing myself too much. Um, dream of violence. Ooh, sounds fun! Mm, I don't know if I trust this house. It looks a little too inviting. Well, with the, uh, bloodstains. Oh, the Dunning family home. I'm sure everything will be fine in here. You like the sight of your own blood? Ah, oh, they're a little hostile! Lunatics! Oh my god, I think every single one of my legs is broken. <laughs> I heard artillery coming in for a second. It freaked me out. <laughs> That was when that audio was from. <laughs> I don't think those are supposed to be growing in there. Hooray! Purple mushrooms! We're gonna have a whole rainbow! I will not be drinking from that water, thank you. <laughs> ah, the key of violence. Well, that was a relatively easy one. You also had a sledgehammer called Frenzy. Ooh, I bet Mike wants to use it. I want you to use this melee weapon. If everyone else is gonna use a melee weapon, I will too. We're not, but you do. See you again. Yeah, it looks like there's an entire section over here we have omitted. We already have the key, but I guess we could check it out. I'm interested to see what hell is like. I hear they have excellent gym facilities. Death to all who oppose me and the NCR! The <laughs> Why do we have to kill everybody? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh no, this is hell! There's two sacks here! It's my personal nightmare! Mm. Seriously, seriously, look at this barrel. Do you see any gum in it? <laughs> Don't you feel angry? Like you can just scream? The dreams are getting far, far worse. Malicious, bloodthirsty. I never thought myself capable of envisioning such sights, but here we are. All I can hope is that I find some miracle, some way to seal all this away. Well, we should have read that on our way in. Goodbye. The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Have you read that one? I have read that. What's it about? It's about the old man and the sea. Oh, thank you! So enlightening! <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it for you. <laughs> Casino it, door to Dark Lands! I'm just asking you to give me a synopsis! Well, welcome to the Dark Lands. Oh, the red crystals are blue now. I kinda like them better as blue crystals. Yeah, but I liked them when they were red. Well, I guess this place is kinda cool, isn't it? Giant Mantis. Pruning himself. Preening himself. He doesn't have feathers. 
I'm still preening, though. No, he's just pruning. He's spending too much time on the dark cave. Doggo! Oh! Random person! You're brave to come this far, traveler. I admire that. I can still hear you clicking the mouse. Anything to discuss? Or are you just looking around? I'll get a quieter mouse. Just kind of looking around. Why are you all, all this way? I could ask the same of you, friend. As for me, I discovered the door at the cemetery not too long ago. At first, what I saw frightened me, but then my feelings changed. This place, it's important somehow. It just, it feels right. When I realized how good it felt, I decided that I had to live here. And so here I am. Tell me, what do you think of the Dreamweaver? I think that man is special. He's important, somehow, some way. I hope you haven't come here with some idea of trying to stop him. Regardless of what you think of his world, he needs to live. I mean, why put an end to such a powerful, unique being such as him? Same reason we climb a mountain, because it's there! I'll be going then. Be respectful of these lions, traveler. Well, there's no key in here, so, uh, must have missed something. This must be it. I suspect so. The final dream. Dream of a malpractice. Practice is in the eye of the beholder, you know? Ooh, sneak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this cannot be me. This oh, isn't me. Oh, this cannot be me. This isn't me. I would never dream of these things. Never, never. It has to stir up at some point, doesn't it? There has to be a solution! But for now, I will keep myself rocked away, where only someone who is brave and good can reach me! We're one of those things! Are we good and cowardly, or are we brave and stupid? I, I think I'm bad and stupid. Okay! Oh, it's a tiny death club! Doctor! <laughs> Doctor, doctor, give me the, the news! I got a hot case yeah. of love and poop! <laughs> Why do you gotta make everything into a poop joke? Cause poop jokes are funny. Are they now? They're I'm not, not funny. I'm not laughing. I got a hot case of love in you. There you go. Just put that audio <laughs> over it. Frankenstein. You ever read that? I understand the gist of the story. Whoa, whoa. Found another doctor. I didn't set whoop, up an appointment. Whoop, that's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's, that's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Get out of my way. That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. Uh, I don't think this guy's gonna be making any house calls. Man's life! Is this the one? <laughs> it's the cover where the guy's fighting like a million weasels. <laughs> <laughs> He's using a weasel to beat back weasels? <laughs> <laughs> there are so many, like, great covers for magazines like that. There's one I have where a guy's punching a bunch of crabs. <laughs> What's the name of that magazine called? Crab Punchers Weekly? <laughs> This is the surgeon. Like a surgeon, cutting for the very first time. Hit him! Hit him, Mike! Oh, he's dead. Good job, Mike. I knew you were the best of us. The key of malpractice. Hooray! The last and bestest key. <laughs> oh, you've got the key! Pestilence. Loss. Violence. And pediatrics. Greetings, Wastelander. If you make it through what is ahead, then we must speak. The nature of the worlds you've traversed, that malice, that doesn't represent me. Or at least I don't think so. Regardless, we should talk. When you reach me, or I suppose if you reach me, please do not charge in guns blazing. All I want is to talk. That is all I want to do. Truly. And you know I'm being honest, because I said truly. And there's only two question marks on that one. Anti-venom. That doesn't sound good. You say that, but, uh... Oh, never mind. We might be needing them. There's another one. Hit him! Hit him, Mike! I don't take orders from you! Oh, you're talking to the other Mike? Other Mike. Yeah, get him, Mike! I think I used Cat Eye once when I first started playing this game, and then I just never bothered using it again. Why would you use Cat Eye when you can just turn up the gamma? Exactly. <laughs> There's no point. Please, let's all be friends here. Uh, I hope the Dreamweaver wasn't in this room. <laughs> I hope there weren't any books you accidentally destroyed. Oh, shoot. It's time to operate. 
Nurse, hand me that shotgun. Doctor, you can't possibly operate on him with a 12-gauge shotgun. You're right, 10-gauge it is! Oh, dear God, Doctor. <laughs> Hello, Dreamweaver! So, you're the one who's been hunting after me. John Castle? I've sensed you, you know. Like, the Punisher? Perhaps you could give me a chance to plead for my pathetic life. So you're the one who's created this world! Why has all this happened? Why don't you stop it? Hey, if I knew, I would have done something a long time ago. All I truly know is the malicious nature of the dreams. The only conclusion I have been able to come up with is this. The beings in those awful places were my personal demons. Oh! And you, Wastelander, you put them down. Hooray! Perhaps now they'll stop haunting me. Stop becoming reality. But maybe you have to go fight them. Does that sound stupid to you? Because it sounds stupid to me and I'm the one who said it. <laughs> I ad-libbed that part. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you still want to live knowing what you've created? Is it truly selfish for me to want to live? Although the worlds I have created are dangerous in nature, there isn't necessarily proof of them causing harm to anybody. At least, that is in regards to those who haven't walked through the door. So, yes, I want to live. Despite having this, whatever it is, <laughs> disease. Too many books unread. Too much wine undrunken. Un undrank? Undrunk? Too much wine unconsumed. There you go. <laughs> I have decided what to do! Well then, let's hear it, Wastelander. I have decided to leave you alone! Then I am grateful to you, Wastelander, and I would hope that you don't change your mind. Take this key to my safe and consider it a thank you. Hooray! Free stuff! A note from the author. <laughs> the egg of power! The egg of power! <laughs> Not really into it today. John! Maybe we should change our mind and just kill him, because that was awfully rude. That was pretty rude. Over here! Ow! You all who oppose me and the NCO! Oh my god, he hits like a truck! <laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling so hot right now. Dude! Mike just got. Oh god, Zach, no! Oh, I'm next! No! Ow, my arm! No, my... he's dead, he's dead. Okay. He's dead. Well, thank god you let him cripple my arm first. A note from the author Battering Ram, the 400 bottle caps, and his armor, which I'm not interested in. You got to the very end. Congrats. You should get this note from either of the two end choices. You can get two copies if you do something really scummy, like go back on your word. But hey, I'm not one to judge. Well, anyway, thank you for playing. I hope you had fun. At the very least, this had to be the most unique trip you've been on in Vegas. Additional thanks to some people who've inspired me to improve and grow as a modder. Al Chesbreach, Sam Olson, Ken's Gaming, and everyone else on Nexus who have followed and supported my mods in the past. And with all that said... Goodbye! Well, thank you for killing our companions. The picture of Dorian Gray. And giving us a bunch of pretty cool books. I assume they're cool. I've never read any of them. And now we can finally wake up from this horrible nightmare in which there's two of me and two of Mike. Hey, we're back. Nope. Nightmare's still a real thing. Ah, oh, crap. You only woke up from the dream within the dream. You still have to wake up from the dream. Wait, I've always wanted to do this. Hey, me. Look in the barrel of this shotgun. Is there gum in it? <laughs> Didn't hurt. <laughs> Very well. Maybe this is truly for the better. But I will not go down without a fight. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. What? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs>